Just gonna give you guys a little update on a garden and how it's going. And uh, be beautiful. So we've got our chickens over here. Um, we got three Rhode Island Reds here. And then back there, if you can see them, well, we'll get back there. Got some leghorn pullets. So these are our tomatoes. We had to plant everything in containers because the soil is completely contaminated. So we got some jalapenos there, sunflowers growing up there. We got some uh, pumpkins in that bucket there, not doing too good. Zinnias. This here is actually a tree that Beth Ann planted a couple of years ago. You can see from the sign it says, Beth Ann's tree, please don't cut. In the past, the neighbors always kind of came over here and uh, randomly chopped down the weeds. But this year, since we're gardening over here, it's not so bad. So, we've got some tomatoes, dill. More tomatoes, more pumpkin vines there. Can you see them? Some flowers. And there is the rat hole. Jackson every day comes out and digs a little deeper. Eventually, he's gonna get in there and eat whatever's in there. <laughs> okay. And then this is our pump, our pumpkin patch. And uh, you can see the pumpkins go clear back to there. And this was just all from one pumpkin that I planted in the ground. And I, I have no idea what kind of pumpkins these are going to be. Um, but they're going crazy. They're basically taking over this whole section. So we're not sure if we're going to be able to eat these ones or not because they're planted right in the contaminated soil. It was kind of an experiment to see what would come out. And then they ended up going crazy, all from one pumpkin there. And then these are the ones that are not contaminated. And you can see they're kind of vining across here, all the way across. Um, they're growing out of the containers, various containers that we got going here. There's another pumpkin over here. Some more tomatoes. And then this is our neighbor's little plot from, from uh, he lives right across the alley over there and um, his tomatoes are going crazy he doesn't really care about the lead so he's just <laughs> gonna eat it anyway and uh, his, his tomatoes here are like freaking trees and then he's got all kinds of chiles and jalapenos, habaneros and stuff growing and then he took a couple of the pumpkin plants too and put them in his little area they're doing real well too. And then back in here it's a little bit shaded so his stuff's not growing quite as, quite as well. Um, and then this is also a neighbor's. He point, planted all these potato plants here along the, the wall. Um, and then back in here we have you see the pumpkin patch from, patch from the other side. Um, you can see they're, they're not vining out that well. They're, I don't know what these are going to be. I don't know what's going to grow, but they're growing kind of more like a bush than a vine. Um, we'll just have to see what comes out. And then here's our leghorn uh, pullets. The other day, about five in the morning, I was out here and I could have sworn one of these gave a little croak, like attempting to uh, to crow like a rooster. So one or two of these might be a rooster. I think it might be that that bigger one there. Um, I think the other two are hens, but I'm not sure. Um, we'll know in another month or two what they are and uh, 
this is the vacant house that this whole thing is planted behind. I actually wrote this guy a letter. Just mailed it to the house. This house right here. But obviously they're not delivering mail there, so it got forwarded wherever uh, the guy is. And I just asked him if we could plant back here and he wrote me back. Said yes, so here we are. Um, and then this is, the girls have a friend that lives right over here and so she come, climbs over here, she squeezes through a little crack in that fence and <laughs> comes across and then jumps across that little opening in the fence that I made so it's easier to get over here. And um, that's our little, our little garden. There's some grapevines there. They grow up there every year, but nothing ever grows on them. I suppose if I knew what I was doing, I could maybe make that work.